Everybody, how you doing? It's your boy Brian Polito along with Mike McLean. And we're here doing the Hell Witch vs. Lady Death Wargasm War Deep Dive. Holy mackerel, man, here we are. So, we're gonna get into it, everybody. You know, we knew around this time last year, as we record this in September, that we were gonna do this book. But we had no idea what was gonna go into its contents. And if I remember correctly, what we decided, we actually sat down during the Christmas vacation and a little into January and started figuring it out. Yeah, correct. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we just didn't know ahead of time. Um, one of the things that I remember early on, and, and part of this deep dive is we're gonna show you some pages. We're gonna talk a little bit about the history of the, the characters and then the history of the story and definitely show you some pages. Now, Hell Witch vs. Lady Death Wargasm Number 1 is launching as a Kickstarter campaign on Wednesday, October 13th at 7 p.m. Isn't that right? That is correct. I, <laughs> somehow I already knew that. I don't know. So let's talk about the origins. But before I do, let me set this up by royal decree. Here is the story, Mike. Round 1 went to Lady Death after she dropped Hell Witch in a vat of flesh-eating toxic waste. And this occurred during Lady Death Damnation Game. That was your first story. My first story, my first comic book ever. Yeah, man, what was your, do you remember that? Gosh, I know I'd done the designs obsessively of Hell Witch. Here's like an early image of Hell Witch just like handling Lady Death. That's right. You know, I find it fascinating sometimes when fans out there say, oh, well, Lady Death, it's a done deal, la, la, la. And I'm like, I don't know, man. We've. I'd, I'd like to think that we've shown that Hell Witch can really handle her business. These guys are going at it in Damnation Game. However, yeah, round one definitely goes to Lady Death as evidenced by Hell Witch getting knocked into a vat of nasty goo. That's right, the <laughs> toxic demonic sludge. Toxic demonic sludge, it's the worst kind. However, way at the end of the story, as these things tend to happen with comic books, she resurrected. That's right. In, more powerful than ever. More powerful than ever now with that cool green nasty, which she was, she's able to use to make this nasty plasma, plasma sword. So, round one goes to Lady Death. Round two went to Hell Witch, who savagely stabbed Lady Death's eye. Now this happened in the seventh chapter. Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss. And I thought this was a ferocious battle. And really, in many ways, the look at there's Hell Witch going into the city of Dis, ready to go, doing a nice soliloquy. And to my mind, Mike, I don't know about yours, but I think if not for the character Chaotica interceding. I think Lady Death might have gotten whipped on that one. And here's Lady Death getting stabbed in the eye. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Chaotica really kind of pulled yeah. through. She was she was having some trouble right before that. Yep. Yeah, I mean, here's Lady Death, like, almost. There's Hell Witch is about to, like, do a number on her. And then Chaotica released this inner darkness. And that kind of decided Hell Witch's fate on that one. Now, now bear witness to their outrageously brutal third and final round set in Sin City itself, Las Vegas. Las Vegas, Nevada. Now the story behind that is, I actually wanted to set the story in New York, but Mike really cleverly came up with this idea. Yeah, I, I thought Las Vegas would be a great place for a battle once. It's Fight City for a lot of people who are into MMA and boxing, but really it allows for a lot of different locations. New York's a great location, but where can you have the pyramids right next to Venice, right next to you know an ancient castle? So yeah, Vegas really offered lots of locations to play around with for a, for a drag out fight. Yeah, what was fun too is we I still kind of got to have New York in it too, because we set a good part of it in the New York, New York casino. Right. Continuing on, for months, Hell Witch weaved a twisted plot to first seduce Lady Death with forbidden lust, then snare her into a lethal confrontation. But her carefully crafted scheme devolves into an orgy of bone-shattering violence 
and neither of these warrior women will ever be the same. Who will reign supreme in one of the most savage, action-packed slugfests in comic book history? It's not decided yet. It is we, undecided. We have, we have the votes still have to be cast. we got to count the votes, count Mike. The votes. I mean, what we've told people the whole time is that whoever gets the most votes wins. So right. we actually have written two endings. That's right. So we have, and they're completed. So standing by. So when we can tally the votes, we're going to know. And you won't know until you get it into your cold, dark-hearted hands. Yeah, I'm excited to learn because it's really going to shape the future of Coffin Comics storylines. So we're kind of rolling the dice, trying to figure out what we're going to do next because it's all based on how you guys vote out there. So. Yeah, it's true. It goes one way or the other. That's yeah. right. Yeah, so... Um, Without further ado, what else is there to talk about? I know towards the end I had a thought here. Oh, well, you know, one thing, before we start showing some pages, I remember what we did when we said we wanted to do a slugfest. We actually went and did some research and came up with our own opinions on what were some of the cooler slugfest in comics. Can you speak a little bit to the people about that? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, Brian and I just kind of sat down, figured out like, what are these iconic scenes? We came up with the death of Superman, right? That's really um, a strong that's contender. That's a very strong contender. We, the many battles between Hulk and the Thing now, uh, throughout on, Marvel history. Man, on that one, Fantastic Four number 25 and 26, are truly remarkable. If you like fights that really cover a lot of ground, the Hulk is really aggressive. He winds up finding, fighting the Fantastic Four, the Avengers, and he's really smart and he's outwitting them. You know, he'll do things like he'll pull water pipes out, smash people, use electricity. There's all kinds of stuff. He climbs up an uncompleted skyscraper they fight. So that whole notion of keeping it moving, moving, moving is kind of what inspired me when I read that one. And I would also throw uh from uh, Frank Miller, the graphic novel Wolverine, or his limited series first, Wolverine. Yep. And also the battle between uh, Daredevil versus uh, Bullsha Bloodsha bah, Bullseye. Sorry right. to talk. Um, a very, very well choreographed fight scene uh, between those two. One of my favorite comics. Yeah, I mean, I read the Miller stuff as it came out. It boggled my mind. And yeah, we actually do an actual nod to that moment. I believe that you'll see, if you're clever comic, fellow comic geeks, you'll see the nods to Death of Superman. You'll see the nod to the Kirby nine panel yeah, fight scene, which I love to do. It's great. And uh, into Frank Miller. So without further ado, it's true. We did our research. We concluded what we thought were some of the coolest battles and what was pivotal, what was impactful, what could we kind of be inspired by to come up with our battle. Now, before we show you some pages, one of the things that I find fascinating is I believe that this story, Wargasm, operates as a fight comic for sure, but actually is a really good, uh, it is a total incontinuity story for both characters. Definitely. I would definitely agree. Um, it, it, it happens right off the heels of uh, Cataclysmic um, and, it, and it, sacrificial, it, sacrificial yeah. annihilation, and they're kind of still dealing with the aftermath of those stories. So, um, definitely. And if you remember the last Hellwitch story, um, she entered uh, Earth's zone right in there. So she came to Phoenix. She came to Phoenix, Arizona. We decided to change it to Las Vegas, but it makes sense if you if, when you read the comic. Oh yeah, but she just showed up there. I mean, there's, as we indicated in the story, there's a little time between there and there. You know, she's maybe hanging out, going on vacation, doing what Hell Witch does, but. Yeah, we see a little of <laughs> that in the first few pages too, what Hell Witch does. She does, does she does vacation. She does yeah. enjoy herself the way yeah. Hell Witch does. Starts off with a bang, as we said. That's right. Yeah. In fact, you know, that reminds me of another idea. I believe that this story, Wargasm, is the comic book that people always accuse us of making all the time. Like, this is it. You know, lewd, lascivious, over the top, violent, sexy, sexual, in your face, blasphemous, sacrilegious. Like, okay, we did it. There we go. And for the record, since we're uh, on video, I'll blame Mike for all that. So, no, I was a <laughs> nice, innocent boy before I came to work for Coffin. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'll look, I'll, we got the pages in and I was like, bing. Now we're gonna show you some pages, but certainly we can't give things away, but we could give tidbits away. So without further ado, please feast your eyes on the work of the incomparable Diego Bernard. This story is uh, co-written by Brian and Mike, illustrated by Diego Bernard, colored by returning champion Cece De La Cruz, Cece on the Edge, and lettered by veteran letterer Marshall Dillon. And you'll notice 
Behind Hellwitch is the actual Statue of Liberty, but it's the Statue of Liberty at the New York, New York Casino. And, and Diego did a great job of keeping that in perspective. Like the oh, actual yeah. Statue of Liberty's head would be much bigger. And first we, we were, we were going to do it as a fake out, but uh, uh, somebody with a keen eye would be able to tell, hey, that's, that's not in perspective, but it is. It's all, uh, it all seems like to scale. Man, look at that Diego Bernard art, bringing these characters to life. Next up, here is Lady Death atop Visago. Visago, who actually made his return in Sacrificial Annihilation. There is Lady Death showing up to do the deed, and astute viewers will notice there is Lady Death's mother, Marion, held captive by that diabolical witch, Hell Witch. How dare she? Again, Diego Bernard, art as Lady Death swoops down, taking the bait that Hell Witch laid out for her. Next up, of course, these two are gonna begin fighting. Lady Death jumps down off the Sago. Hell Witch pulls her plasma sword out and some part of the battle begins anew. And I guess this is new right off the bat, is Lady Death now has a new sword she got in Sacrificial Annihilation called Oblivion. And Oblivion is actually shattering the plasma sword. But that does not stop the one and only Hell Witch. And the battle is just beginning. Uh-oh, kaboom! It looks like Hell Witch gets, gets in a pretty serious shot here, Mike. Holy mackerel. Yeah, I just love the perspective Diego decides on these. You could have shown that shot in a, a million different ways, but he, he chose the most dramatic image. Yeah, and I like how he takes the time to really establish the space. Here's, you know, while you got this beautiful, big, expansive, dynamic shot, which we all adore in comics, it's great to see big figures on the page, but it's good to establish the space. And there, of course, Marion is concerned as Lady Death plummets to Earth. Is she alive or is she dead? A little later on in the battle, these two arch nemesis touch down to confront each other. Now the pages that we're showing you are not sequential by design and uh, hopefully they're not giving too much away. We're trying to be careful to keep some story stuff uh, hidden away for now. But again, just please luxuriate in the phenomenal art and the heroic posturing of Lady Death as drawn by Diego Bernard. It's so great to write simple panels and have Diego bring them to life in the way that he does. And yes, it does look like Lady Death uses her sword, although missing Hell Witch definitely takes her top off. Uh-oh, that might happen in a story like this. And a, another shot now, we're inside a penthouse atop the New York, New York Casino. There is a degree of intimacy in the battle inside the penthouse bedroom suite as Hell Witch is not having it any longer and it appears to my eye as if Hell Witch has removed Lady Death's bikini bottoms to humiliate her, which is very much in her character. And yet the battle continues and the characters smash through the casino, down through an atrium and land in the gorgeous, the gorgeous casino floor and again I love you know after a big action panel of figures only Diego will actually do the work and show the actual casino and all the people's reactions now I'd be getting ahead of myself if I showed too many pages um, but I, we're gonna show you one final page to leave you with some thoughts but what other things would you like to tell folks in this deep dive about Wargasm? 
Well, I think with Sacrificial Annihilation, we got that great Marvel movie feel of the, this huge battle with all these different forces. Um, with this one, it boils down to just like a slugfest between two characters, and it really goes on for pages and pages. We give you little rests here or there, um, where, where characters are using different machinations, but really it's a, a battle for the for the, almost the entire comic book is just fists and feet and swords and it's the, the whole thing so yeah, it's, it a, really, it's a, a, di a different take on, on, a, on a fight comic I think. It definitely gets to a point where it's like well all this story is really nice and now we're gonna fight for like you know 20 pages yeah. <laughs> and I kind of think that's kind of well that's what I like in a good comic you know sure. let's see some fighting however we are dealing with two very different characters with two very different sets of skill sets and there's a page I want to show you that I will leave you with but I really can't explain but you'll just have to grapple with it I mean what you're witnessing here to my eye is Hell Witch and Lady Death being married Hell Witch and Lady Death being married and the wedding is performed by a Hellborn both women seem to be very happy they both seem to be entering into this union voluntarily. What is it exactly that you're looking at? Mike, what do you think? Well, I don't want to give too much away, but it is Vegas. You know, it's a, <laughs> maybe one of the little, little chapels on the side of the road. There. That could be a chapel on the side of the road, and I don't know. Uh, what part of the story is this? Have they reconciled each other, and now they're very happy with each other? I don't really know. So. We're not going to tell you anything more about that, but let us luxuriate also in some of the art by some of the phenomenal contributors. Please, Sun K in a battle cover of Hell Witch versus Lady Death. This was literally the first cover that we got in for this project. We got this in in January. And then some of you have seen, this is the premiere edition cover by Diego Bernard and Juan Fernandez, another battle cover. Now, of course, people would be interested in the more sublime moments, and so here is Eric Basaluda's cover. This is the quote-unquote nice version, but even though nice, it appears as if Hell Witch can't help herself and Lady Death doesn't seem to mind. What does that mean exactly? I don't know. Now, other contributors are to be revealed. The a Legend Tier artist will be revealed, and oh my gosh, we have just a who's who contributing to the to the piece we have I know we have covers by Mike Chrome, Elias Chetzudis. I'm going to forget names because there's so many Richard Ortiz the list goes on and on and on so is there anything else you'd like to say in this deep dive in conclusion um, I just can't wait till this this launches I can't wait till this launches and you guys eventually get your your hands on these but you still got to vote because it's it's not uh, set in stone yet who wins that's right it's not a done deal so we're going to tabulate the vote soon as we open up the survey period of sacrificial annihilation that will determine and prior to going to press we're going to know but you won't know until it gets into your hands so hellwish versus lady death Wargasm number one, Kickstarter campaign launches Wednesday, October 13th, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and this book will ship into your hands in January or February, TBD, 2022. So in conclusion, I've been Brian Polito. You've been Mike McLean. You guys are great. Thank you for tuning in, and get ready for Wargasm.